How's it going everyone? It's Cool Kid Croc here, back for another Kenshi 2 news update video. In this video, I'm going to be covering everything we know up to this point about Kenshi 2, so up to January 2021. My last video covering Kenshi 2 news was quite a while ago, and I wanted to put off putting a new one until we got some more information. Finally, I felt like it was just time to do a video summarizing everything that we know about Kenshi 2 so far. So if you want to check out more in-depth conversations or ideas about Kenshi 2, make sure you check out my playlist which contains all the content relating to Kenshi 2 on my channel. If you enjoy the content, liking, subscribing, or commenting can help me feed my beak things a lot. And with that out of the way, let's begin the video. Around the start of 2019, there's information being spread about the possibility of a Kenshi 2. This wouldn't be confirmed completely though until about September of 2019 when they would release a community voting poll. The poll allowed Kenshi players to vote on whether they wanted lo-fi games to work on Kenshi 1 Remake and a new updated engine, or focus on making Kenshi 2 in a new engine. With a majority of the community agreeing that they'd like to see a Kenshi 1 remake later on in time, right now they really want to see Kenshi 2. So it was shortly after this of a 2019 November update, where the community would get their first taste at some concept art for Kenshi 2. While being pretty basic, the armor designs and models look a lot more detailed than many things we've seen in Kenshi. And with the armor being showed, maybe being low to mid-tier armor, it got me pretty hyped for what's to come. Aside from that, we found out the game was going to be developed on the Unreal Engine, so the team states they're attempting their best efforts to make the game not only perform better, but also improve everything else in the game like the AI pathfinding and expanding on the world. We then got two more updates in January and February going into the new year. Through these news updates, we would get different interviews with the developers behind Kenshi 2 and them discussing their challenges with making the game. The next update in March included great information such as the team hiring five new employees to help with the game as well as showing off what the sky looked like in Kenshi 2 so far. This is just about as close as what we have gotten to actual gameplay or some game material material, and it is a nice step up from the sky in Kenshi 1. This footage is all still pre-alpha, but it does represent a good step forward in my opinion. The following month contained another great developer interview, who seemed just as passionate about the project as the last. With that, we were also given a photo of what the terrain is coming along like so far in Kenshi 2. There isn't too much to say about this other than it looks like Kenshi to me. The rock layout looks pretty solid. I mean, honestly, other than jokes aside, the way the roads are formed and the worry that the world is going to be working around the terrain really does excite me. The rest of the update has a bunch of questions and answers about the game, mostly relating to technical aspects like how the game will run or load compared to Kenshi 1, in which the answer, as it should be, is a lot better on a new engine. After this, updates became a little bit more slim as only one was posted in July. This was catching up with the team and seeing how they're doing with the world's pandemic at hand. Things do still seem to be going all right though and development progress has been being made as we would get four different videos of Lo-Fi Games channel which would show us pre-alpha or prototype gameplay for the first time. Firstly, there was a released video of a skimmer model in Kenshi 2. This model looks absolutely astonishing when you compare it to Kenshi 1 Skinner. With a new design featuring a lot more small details such as how it moves or how it's standing and moving side to side, you know. The little hairs or fur that's on its antenna, everything about it really stands out. Even the eyes are a bit bright, but that's probably due to the sun in Kenshi reflecting off of a creature's eyes. I don't think that's a puppy eye type of detail. Either way though, we got three different videos on the building system in Kenshi 2 after this. These videos show us the way buildings work in Kenshi, and it remains mostly the same with new optimizations and physics. Firstly, having your building hover around or outside an already placed object, so you can place it as close as possible without clipping into it. Along with this, the video shows both free placement as well as grid placement, meaning it will be a lot better for those with OCD who just want to make their base look nice and even. The second video shows how object collision will also apply to things like walls or buildings. And then the most recent video shows a very large room which we can see there's some other objects in there which have a grid missing. Other than that, there's a few more things on the wiki for Kenshi 2 that I wasn't able to find from other sources. The artist who drew this image of a wanderer on a boat exploring a flooded ruins got hired or at least got talked to by Lo-Fi. So we know that we're working with ideas such as boats and this setting could be shown off in Kenji 2. Along with this, there's a concept art for a water outpost in which you can see guards waving to a person to come into a city possibly. There's also turret islands or defenses set up so I'm looking forward to see what kind of water based gameplay there could be if that's a possibility in Kenji 2. On the land side of things, we got an example of some of the concrete buildings and what they could look like in the second game. The design is pretty complex and cool in my eyes, there's pretty much a lot of potential 
potential. We have a few different models, but we do have a photo of one of them, which appears to be in game. I have to say, it looks pretty nice, even though it might be a caveman house made out of like cobblestone. It looks really good in the world of Kenshi. Next, there's some concept art of what different lights in the game might look like. And after that, we get two more screenshots from different angles focused on the inside interior of a house that seems way more filled up than most buildings in Kenshi 1. I mean, if this is how the layout in most places are going to be like in Kenshi 2, this will be really nice. There's different sections in it for a kitchen area, a living room area, hangout spot, as well as a private room. We may even be able to do things like place items on the tables or bookshelves, seeing as there's a light on one of the tables. Unless that just comes with a table, of course. Either way, this looks really nice and a step up for most places in Kenshi 1. We have an amazing shadows and lighting all inside of the buildings, along with a nicer selection of furniture and living utensils. It makes it feel more real. Other than that though, the only information we do know about the game is that it's set to take place 1000 years before Kenshi 1. So the theme is still going to be pretty post-apocalyptic, but with slightly more advanced technology. There is an AMA by Chris Hunt as well on Reddit. I'll leave it in the link of the description as you can go through it and get some more information behind Kenshi 1, but it isn't directly relating to Kenshi 2. But that's all of the news and things that I know and have been able to find so far about Kenshi 2 and what to expect from the game. I've done some different discussion videos on topics relating to Kenshi 2, as well as the Kenshi 2 wishlist, so if you want to check out any of those, feel free to do so. But other than that, yeah, I'm still pretty excited for Kenshi 2. I of course plan to keep up with its development and let you guys all know when there's more important information coming out. I figured it'd be good to do this video to sort of get all of the new information and mix it with the old, that way anyone can just come in and watch this one video and know everything about Kenshi 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, I put a little bit of work into it, so leave a like, comment, and subscribe. With that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.